Hey, welcome back to our series on JavaScript bytecode, where we are taking a deep dive at the source code that you create in JavaScript and how that translates at a bytecode level on the VA engine. So in previous videos, we've deep dived on how the JavaScript engine works, what an accumulator is, what registers are, all the different types of arithmetic operations you can perform, but we've only been doing this at sort of two number levels, right? It's been add two numbers together, multiply two numbers. In this video, we're gonna go much deeper, and what we're gonna do is do operations where we involve multiple numbers. So it could be add three numbers, it could be add five numbers, it could be add 10 numbers. And to be able to do that, we have to have this concept of intermediate registers to be able to do those more complicated calculations. So let's get on with it and see how we go. Now, just to finish on the subject of registers, declared variables are not the only things that we could put into those registers, right? There is also such a concept as temporaries. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go back into Visual Studio Code for a second. Let's uh, change that back to add two numbers. And then what we're gonna do now is add a couple of more numbers in there as well. So let's add an N3. So let's put N3 and we'll set the value equal to 17. So when I add these things together, so if I add N1, N2, and N3 together, let's call it add three numbers uh, rather than add two numbers for the sake of clarity, um, and we'll add uh, an N3 at the end, okay? So we've got three constants now, N1, N2, N3, 10, 5, 17. If we added that together, it should equal 32. If my math is doing okay, if my math is terrible, then you know it's gonna equal some other number, but I'm pretty sure it's 32. And then what you're gonna see here is it's gonna return N1 plus N2 plus N3. So let's have a look at the code that that's gonna generate. So what I'm gonna do is run my example JS without looking at the bytecode first. And as you see, it returns 32. So yay, my math is great. Well, I mean, it's not great. It's, I struggled adding 10, 17, 15 together. I've even forgotten the numbers. I've struggled adding 10, five and 17 together, right? To make 32. But anyway, point is I got it right. That's that's the key thing. Um, now, if I was to have a look at the bytecode underneath that, so uh, it's now called add three numbers on the filter. So we'll just add that in there. Let's have a look at what's going on. So we're still doing the load of 10 and, uh, and then we're doing a store and register one. That's fine. So store register zero, register one, register two. Um, so I've got my three registers, um, that's that's all fine. Uh, but what's going on here? Um, I'm doing my add, I'm adding R0 to whatever's in the accumulator, that's, that's fine. So that's adding R1 and R0 together. So that's my 10 and my five, so I should have 15 now. But look, it's, it's doing a star three. So I never created a star three, I didn't create a fourth register. But look, I do have four registers here and you can kind of see that at the top as well, right? There's register count four. So I now have four registers. So star zero, that was N1, so that's cool. Star one, that was N2. Star two, that was N3. But I didn't create an N4, but there is one here. So what this is, is a temporary, right? because you can only add in the accumulator one register to the accumulator at a time, right? In order to do the calculation of N1 plus N2 plus N3, it's got to break the calculation up first. So it's got to do N1 plus N2 first, store the result somewhere, and then add N3 to whatever I stored temporarily. And that's what's happening here. So it's created this temporary register called uh, register three, and it's gonna store the result of N1 plus N2, which is 15. It's gonna store that in this temporary register. So now that it's got 15 stored in register three, what it's gonna then do is load back into the accumulator whatever was stored in register two, which in this particular case is the number 17. And then it's gonna add whatever is in R3, which is my temporary register, which is the calculation of register zero and register one, or N1 and N2, so that will be 15 in there. It's gonna add that, and then that's gonna give me the 32. So something to be aware of is that when it does calculations, because it can only ever do sort of two 
uh, value operations at one, so add register one to the accumulator, add register two to the accumulator, etc. If you're adding multiple things together, then it's going to have to create temporaries, so create temporary registers for it to do those uh, intermediate calculations. And so in this case, you can see an extra register was created, and you see at the top um, that I've got associated with this function, I've got a register count four. So I've got four registers. So it's something to be aware of these temporary registers. Okay, so I think you've probably got a really deep understanding of registers now, especially when it's scoped to your local function. But in the next video, what we're gonna do is see how those concepts extend, and we're gonna deep dive in how parameters and functions are represented. So I'll catch you in the next video.